course reading off at Wildwood Conservation Area. Um, from here we move on to Highway 7 and then we head north in the watershed. Visit a total of eight sites um, up in the north and uh, the south would visit about five. First taking a core sample, we're looking at the crust condition on the soil. Today there's really no crust. Uh, sometimes you get a crust further down from a previous snowpack. Uh, and we're taking the core sample. Um, there's some sharp uh, teeth, I guess, uh, on the bottom of this. And we're trying to uh, kind of take that and not squash the core sample too much. And depending on the soil condition, we're also looking for that. Uh, it could be frozen or unfrozen, wet or dry and uh, we're just trying to make sure that the tube doesn't cut into the soil while we come up with a, a chunk of soil that doesn't give us an accurate reading. And when we're taking it out, we're trying to make sure that we get all of the sample and uh, that it doesn't fall out on us. And then we can look through these little windows and there's measurements on the tube here in inches, uh, going from one all the way up to 60, which we've never had one of those, uh, but this today is at six and a half right here and then we take this sample and we dump it into a bucket and we take all 10 samples per site and we weigh them and document that and what we're looking for is the the uh, water content uh, in the snow okay. Taking the total reading and then we minus the the weight of the bucket which is 16 uh, ounces so the 10 samples that we took uh, work out to 16 ounces of uh, snow from the 10 samples that we took. We have been collecting this data for quite some time. Some of the stations go back to 1957 and uh, it's part of a program that is, we, we, is delegated to us from the Ministry of Natural Resources and it is delegated to all the conservation authorities across the province and so there's this data sharing that goes on where we send our crews out to go out and do the measurements and we send the data back to the Ministry of Natural Resources and they use that for a broader perspective of how the snow conditions are across the province and we know that in the north part of the watershed it's not unusual to have over 100 millimeters of water sitting on the landscape. It's how we estimate the amount of um, water that the snow will add to the, to the water courses over the period of melting. In 77 we had a pretty big flood in, uh, in, in the Upper Thames watershed and that was caused primarily by snow melt with rain on top of that and at our most northern uh, location for uh, snow surveys which is the Bornholm station that year we measured the peak value of uh, the highest value that they measured during the season of water content in the snow was 300 millimeters. That's a foot. <laughs> so you can imagine a foot of water sitting up in the northern part of the landscape just waiting to come down.